Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Jensen. In 2016, I was Minnesota's Family Physician of the Year. I have had profound concerns regarding the impact of narcotics, opiates, on our everyday health for a long time. I'm old enough to remember when we first started to get a whiff of how devastating exposure to peanut allergens could be for someone who is peanut allergic. Look at what's happening now with fentanyl. This is not a crisis that is waning. This is a crisis that's going like this, and we have no idea where it's going to stop. We're seeing people come in just the most casual exposure to fentanyl, their lives being threatened. Literally, they're having to be treated with opiate antagonists in order to stay alive. Fentanyl is unbelievably potent. If I give someone Tylenol number three or codeine for a toothache or for a sprained ankle, and it isn't strong enough, if I wanted to go 10 or 20 times as strong, I could go with something like a Percocet. Or if I needed to go to something like a morphine, I could. But if I really wanted to really go after it, I wouldn't do this. But if I had the ability to prescribe Schedule One agents like heroin, that would be quite the painkiller. Fentanyl is more than 100 times more potent or dangerous than heroin. Fentanyl is something that if you get it on your skin, you're at risk. I remember when fentanyl first came out and was used by non-anesthesiologists. It was a patch, duragesic patches. We would use it for profound pain control, potentially people on hospice dying of cancer. Fentanyl is a crisis, and every one of us needs to start paying attention to it. The legislation and the approach that's been taken to it has been far from adequate. The conversation we've been having nationally about fentanyl has been far from adequate. It's going to take a little steam to get things going. Down the road, I'm going to be doing a video on some of the specifics of why fentanyl is so dangerous. But let me tell you right now, when mere casual exposure to unknown fentanyl can kill you, we better start paying attention. We had literally 100,000 drug overdose deaths last year or the year before, and the majority of them are related to opiates. And the most dangerous opiate out there right now is fentanyl.